We all are using ChatGPT in some or other extent. But do you know you can train ChatGPT as per your requirement so that it can respond as per your need. So in this video, I'll show you certain very small steps using which you can configure your own ChatGPT and then down the line, it will respond based on your need only the way you like ChatGPT to respond. So let me show you how you can do that. If you have not used ChatGPT, I already published one video where you can start using ChatGPT within 10 minutes. That link is in the description below. I also recorded certain videos related to ChatGPT. I'll add those all in the description below so you can check it. Now coming back here, uh, so if you follow my mouse, I open ChatGPT here. You just need to type chat.openai.com and you need to log in using your Google ID or any other methods to log in. So you can check the other video if you want that step by step approach. So now let me quickly talk about how can you configure ChatGPT for your use. Uh, first step is the custom instructions. So what is custom instructions? If you go and click on your profile picture here in bottom left corner, then you will be able to get one option that is customize ChatGPT. Then what it will do, it will give you a prompt where two things are there. First one is the custom instruction and second one is how would you like ChatGPT to respond. So first let me cover custom instructions. Here you can mention something about you. You can see that certain suggestions are already here given by ChatGPT that where are you based, what do you do for work, uh, what are your hobbies and interest areas, what subjects can you talk about for uh, hours and what are the some of the goals you have. You can feed ChatGPT something about you. The only thing to know that you are sharing this particular detail in a public forum where ChatGPT will be able to read this particular detail. So don't share any confidential information here. You can give a maybe basic about yourself so that ChatGPT will be able to fine tune those responses because the way an advocate may expect ChatGPT to respond, an artist may not, right? So based on your job role, the areas you are interested, ChatGPT will also fine tune its responses. So this is is one part on the custom instructions. Now second thing is how would you like ChatGPT to respond? That how formal or casual ChatGPT be? How long or short responses? If you are uh, not a fan of a long response, you can mention that I am always looking for a short response within two, three lines. So it will do in that way. So you are giving certain feedbacks to ChatGPT and based on that it will remember because you logged in using one of your ID, right? And it will save those preferences there and down the line all the responses it will come it will be based on this particular custom instructions only. You can read these examples and then you can fill in these particular details and then you can click on save once you are done. So this is custom instructions. Now second thing is some of the time you may use ChatGPT for a specific purpose. Now let me give you a very maybe basic example. You wrote some of the text maybe in English and you want ChatGPT to check for any grammatical errors or any spelling mistakes, that's the way you can ask for. You can do one thing, you can write that thing to ChatGPT. So every time you don't need to describe what you are looking for. So let me show you one example. Now you see that what I have done, I mentioned, please check below text and give me a grammatically corrected version. Going forward, whenever I mention revise, please execute this particular prompt. Please give me a green tick if you understood my requirement. It gave me a green tick and it's also mentioned, I understand your requirement. Whenever you ask me to revise, I will provide a grammatically corrected version of the text you provide. Please go ahead and share your text you'd like to revise. This is the way you can train ChatGPT and down the line, if you see, you only need to write one word, revise and then a space and then the text you want to get revised. So that you need to mention, you don't need to write the entire prompt another time. So if you use ChatGPT for any specific purpose on daily basis and you are using it multiple times, using this method, you can train ChatGPT and it will respond down the line in the same way. Now the third point, sometimes we use ChatGPT to generate certain text. Now, all those texts generated by ChatGPT sometimes sounds like an AI generated one, right? If you want ChatGPT to generate text as per your requirement, as per your style, you can use this particular method. And let me show you what I'm talking about. And if I go to LinkedIn there, I have certain text which I uh, shared recently. So what I'll do, I'll copy that and then I come back to ChatGPT. I'll create a new chat and there I'll mention this thing. So what I've done, I give this particular prompt, please read below text. This is my style of writing English. Please learn from it and going forward, give me generated text using this style only. And then I mention my text and then within quote, I mention the text. So now it's responding, right? Got it. I'll adopt your writing style for future responses. So this is the same method. It will be better as much of the text you can give as an input. So it will learn better. If you have a maybe 
two three paragraphs or one page or two page or whatever from your writing if you can copy paste it will learn from there and it will give you a grammatically corrected uh, english uh, in that same style so which will not sound like an ai generated one so this is another tip using which you can train chat gpt as per your requirement now the fourth one uh, we all know prompt is everything whenever we are using any of the llm models and we are trying to get certain responses now what if if we can ask chat gpt to write its own prompt that also is possible right and let me show you one example here here you can see earlier i generated one of the coloring book for kids and it was using one of the custom gpt let me read out this particular prompt i want to produce a flower coloring book based on mandala art can you give me 30 prompts using which i can generate images which will start with a simple one and gradually become complex and ends with a most complex one and after that you can see it gave me all 30 prompts you just need to copy those prompts and you can generate those images so this is the same way this is one example this is the way you can ask chat gpt to write your own prompts you just give one simple text that mentioning this is i'm looking for please help me with a detailed prompt uh, using which i can get best out of it so this is another way you can fine tune chat gpt as per your requirement now the sixth point some of the time chat gpt gives you responses which may not be accurate because all of the llm models hallucinate some of the time and come up with made up answers to avoid that we can mention in our prompt or we can add it in our custom instructions as i shown you in the first option that you can ask chat gpt to share a reference document all the time so that what it will do if you are researching some of the points and it gave you certain text it will also add those references and below uh, using which you can double check if that is required now uh, this particular feature is better available in google gemini i recorded another video i'll add the link in the description below using google gemini whenever you are generating any of the content you will be able to double check that particular response using a parallel google search and within the same console itself once you click one button it will validate the response and it will give you a color coding with a green one these are uh, passed and uh, google gemini can see that that's a valid fact in case it's not able to validate it will also show you these are the part of the text it was not able to validate so check out that particular video you will get more insight on that now another final thing that chat gpt can give you responses in different uh, formats you can ask for uh, to give in a table format or you can ask in in other languages right uh, if you see if you are if you are looking for an output in csv format or an html it can generate it for you multiple developers are using this particular feature to improve their codes however you can also use it uh, let me show you very quickly wow, how can you do that i'll again go to one of the new chat and there i'll ask the same question so what i asked here please give me list of fifa world cup winners till date in tabular format and if i hit enter it will come up with the requirement and it will create a table and let me let's see that how you can see that how it's generating now year host country and who are the winner and it started from 1930 when fifa world cup first time started and it's generated in a tabular format so using this thing you can also generate your own content in different formats it can be table it can be csv it can be html everything so this is all about it so using this smaller tips you can improve chat gpt and uh, you can fine tune it for your own usage and you will be able to get best uh, results out of it as per your requirement and as per your wish so if you like this particular video i recorded another video that how can you use microsoft copilot for free uh, check out this video it will give you a full details within 7 minutes time